Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make an Adobe Premiere Pro audio glitch effect. Check out my Premiere Pro audio presets. If you're working with dialogue, different microphones, or you need to do some noise reduction in your videos, you need these audio presets. Head over to mrc.fm slash presets to download them now. That's mrc.fm slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, let's dive into it. Now, I just got a free stock video of glitching visuals, but I want to make the audio glitch effect to go along with something like this. I'm going to do it from scratch inside the sequence of Premiere Pro, and I'm not going to use any external software. It's going to be a great challenge. First thing I'm going to do is voice over record onto audio track one. Really easy to do. It's going to count me in and then I just make a silly sound effect. So let's do it. Three, two, one. Ugh. Okay. I told you it was going to be silly. Uh, now, because of the way my audio interface is set up, I need to fill the right with the left. So let's do that. So my audio effect is stereo. Let's listen. Ugh. Let's make it nice and loud. Hit the G key, normalize it. <laughs> <laughs> Silliness again. Okay, sounds really silly so far, but stay with me here because we are going to totally glitch this up. So over in my effects panel up here, I'm going to search for pitch first and foremost, and I'm going to drag the pitch shifter onto that really weird voiceover I recorded. Edit it over here, and we'll pitch this right down. Let's listen to it now. Pretty cool. Let's pitch it right down. That's it. Let's expand so we can really see that waveform in action. Okay, that's sounding interesting. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to distort it. This is all available inside Adobe Premiere Pro Distort. Now, there's a lot of different distort effects here um, because, of course, there's lens distortion removal. We're actually looking for the audio effect that can be quite difficult to find if you're scanning through loads of these different presets. So you can go for distort, but it's under the... Um, Audio effects under special, distortion, drag it on, edit it. Now, I found in my experience, infinite distortion is the most glitchy of the lot. There we go. Now we're getting something really good, aren't we? Let's listen again. That's really cool, isn't it? So all we've added is a pitch down and infinite distortion. Preset. There we go. We're, we're pretty much there. Now, if I wanted to go even crazier, I would maybe chop this up and space this out. So I'm going to use the razor tool, the C key on my keyboard shortcut to get there. And we'll just make like, you know, a few sort of glitchy little cuts there. And then we'll move this out like so and just see what we can do. It's like we can move this around. If we want, we can even like move some of these around into different places. So we really get like a uh, a weird, confused sounding. Okay, let's move that in a bit so that we're not too spaced out. Okay, that's sounding pretty good, isn't it? And then finally, we'll go to the audio workspace and on audio track one, which is going to be available to us up here in the audio track mixer. We're going to pop open this uh, effects dialog here. And we're going to add some cool reverb on. Let's go to reverb. Let's go for studio reverb. And let's go ahead and play around with some of those different presets. Let's start with the default. That's pretty cool. And of course, we can space this out further and make crazier things. Swirly reverb's quite good. Or we can go for something like outside club. And that's kind of got a wet sound to it. Let's crank that right up. We can bring some of the original back with the dry. So as you can see, we're getting that glitchy audio effect. If I want, I can select it all. I can right click, go to the speed duration, and we can actually increase the speed a little bit to 200%. So we get a different kind of glitch, or we can go to the speed duration again and slow it down 50% and we get this. So lots you can do. As you can see, we've used just a few native Adobe Premiere Pro presets. Uh, we've got the reverb in there. We've got the distortion in there. We've got the pitch in there. We've recorded a silly voice. We've chopped it up, moved it around on the sequence, and we've had a lot of fun. Let me know how you'll be doing the audio glitch effect in the comments down below. 
Make sure you like this video and also if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell so you never miss another audio video from me. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music Radio Creative. Dot com